back when I was in my early 20s. Friend and I, friend of mine, decided we want to see the country. So we take off on foot and started hitchhiking, sort of hoboing around the country. And I noticed, I went all over the country, but there would be people everywhere, every nationality that I just liked. Back then, mostly I found them in the beer joints, <laughs> but they were nice. They were nicer than the people and do anything for you that I met, you know, church folks. <laughs> I liked them better. I never knew why until later on in life I found out that these people were regenerate or were born again yet unconverted. They were saved unbelievers, born again unbelievers. Anybody says that's not possible. Uh, we just think the whole of the Old Testament were born, were born again, yet Christ had not come yet. All of the New Testament saints, I mean, all of the Old Testament saints were born again, yet they didn't believe in a gospel sense. They didn't know anything about it, except types and shadows. But I want to get off on that is I want to get back to, are there any people around you that are born or saved unbelievers? God's people that, for whatever reason, don't believe. And I want to tell you, even in the New Testament, there are God's people that don't believe in a New Testament gospel sense for whatever reason there might be. They might have been molested by some poser of a preacher or whatever the circumstance. They may have lived in a, uh, live in a remote area. But what I'm just trying to tell you, brothers and sisters, is God has a people out there that have attributes in their character. I believe that they were Indians when, when, when they came here, the ones that helped the, uh, uh, that were friendly Indians. <laughs> they were, that which may be known of God was manifest in these Indians, brothers and sisters, in people. God has people everywhere all around you right now that are born from above, that God loves, that have attributes in their character that can only be learned by the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. It can't be known any other way. Yet they may never have heard of the precious name of Jesus while they were taking breath in this body of clay. That's the way this old boy down here in Alabama believes now. And uh, it brings wonderful, wonderful peace. Because if you look close enough, you can find an attribute of God in most everyone around you, which makes God's family a whole lot bigger than you really thought it was. <laughs> love is of God, and everyone that loves is born of God. Everyone that shows love in some kind of fashion, not saying they're going to be perfect, but anyone that shows some kind of love, patience, love, kindness, Although they might not uh, have any, wear their religion on their sleeve, I believe are born from above, brothers and sisters. We're all fallible human beings. And the only reason anybody makes it, goes into God's kingdom will be born from above is because of, because of his rich mercy. But here's, the, here's, the, here's what I wanted to get over this, this little short video. That much be, may be known of God is manifest in some degree in all of God's people. 
I believe. In some kind of fashion. They may not believe in, in Jesus in a New, New Testament sense because of, what, of the way it was presented to them or for whatever reason, but they are born from above and they have a home in heaven because it's a family thing. God is your father. That's why we call him father. Our father who art in heaven. And we pray to him in Jesus' name. And the Holy Spirit is here uh, all about the business of, God, of the Father, quickening and, and bringing into his family his, uh, to eternal life all of God's beloved elect children of grace. But anyway, just wanted to tell you, that much when you're out there on your day today, don't be looking for all the bad because of... We, <laughs> because of uh, all of us have uh, more bad in us where this flesh body acts up. But if they are born from above, they have, they have an inner man. The Holy Spirit is dwelling within them. And they couldn't learn these things that they know. Patience, kindness, just being civil. They couldn't learn that unless the Holy Spirit was dwelling in them. Again, I say to some degree, <laughs> you might not see any good in any, in any of them. But uh, just want to put that out there this morning, brothers and sisters. Saved unbelievers. There are many reasons why God's people, starting with the Old Testament, Little children never believed in a gospel sense, New Testament gospel sense, uh, the good news about the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ, which is really a proclamation, and it's not a free offer, <laughs> like the whole world seems to think. But anyway, just want to put that out there. It's real. It's wonderful news when you get it down in you that there's no requirement for being a son or daughter of God. There's no requirement. <laughs> you were born into a family, much like you had no say in your natural birth, you have no say in the new birth. And thank God for it, because none, none of us would ever have went there. But anyway, I know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think of something else when I... Uh, hang up on this one, but uh, just wanted to uh, say that. What a wonderful, wonderful thing, brothers and sisters. People around you are born from above. We thought they were all going to hell because we couldn't cram it in their minds. <laughs> we couldn't get it in their heads that they had to make a decision <laughs> or do this or do that, you know. No, God's not going to lose one of all the Father gave him. Ain't that a wonderful thing? He's not going to lose one. Now the only question is, how big is his love? That's the only question now. How big is his love? Well, <laughs> the Bible says it's a great love. That there's a number up there that no man can number. Like the stars of the sky, like the sand by the seashore. Oh, the wonder of it, brothers and sisters. Just want to get on here today while it's coming down a little bit of rain and spread some good news that it is finished. It is finished. The work's already done. And now, at the end of the world, in these last days, it's being brought to fruition no matter how dark it seems out there, brothers and sisters. Everything is working for the good for his people. Peace and love out there from this old boy down here in Alabama. <laughs>